This is St Andrews, widely known as the home of golf. And in July of this year, the Open will return here, celebrating its 150th anniversary. And there's a connection between the golf and the city of St Andrews itself. There's a mystery, a magic about this place that's very difficult to describe. And somehow it echoes the very spirit of the game. In the city of St Andrews, you'll find an eclectic mix of students, tourists and residents. And I found one resident who lives literally a stone's throw from the first tee of the old course. Len, how are you? Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. My name is Len Edwards Scrimger Carey. I'm 90 years old and I am a resident here of St Andrews. Uh, I keep on not only being smiled at as I walk down the road, but greeted by my name. Oh, uh, I haven't any idea who they are. <laughs> I haven't got a memory anymore. Uh, which I, yes, it's very nice. And I, so I think that, yes, I don't know how they know my name, but a lot of people smile and say good morning. As you say, there is a buzz and it's, I think it's largely golf initiated. I mean, you just need to walk down the streets. Yeah. And uh, there's all these people with these funny accents. Yeah. Uh, but they're talking golf. Yeah. You know, and it's obvious there's, they're walking in fours. <laughs> <There's something. laughs> so it's, it's not it's not surprising, but uh, there's a buzz here. But there is there is an air about St Andrews you don't see, don't hear, find many, very often. It's not only Len that calls this road home. Arguably the most famous road in St Andrews, Lynx Road, is home to some of the unique golf clubs in the town. My name is John Devlin. I lived and worked in St Andrews all my life. Played golf most of my life. And I've been a member in St Andrews Club for 45 years. I actually learned to play golf in St Andrews when I was a child. Those memories never leave you and eventually I just knew I wanted to come back. I was going to wait till I retired and I just couldn't wait that long, so here we are. It is often said, but in so many sports, how many sports can we all walk over this Wilkin Bridge knowing that every great player's played here? Not some of them, not occasionally, every great player has played here. Golf is part of the fabric of St Andrews and around every corner of the town there's another golf shop to be found and one of the oldest is Ochterlone's. It started with uh, David and Willie Ochterlone, two brothers, but, and Willie was an open champion at Prestwick in 1893. Wow. Um, and originally a clubmaker, he started with Forgans of St Andrews as a, an apprentice clubmaker and then started the business with his brother. I mean, it's amazing, I actually grew up above the shop. You know? Did you? Yeah, so I've been here all my life, you know, and, and I've never known anything like a, like the Open this, yeah. this year, you know. I think 2000 was the biggest ever Open, and I didn't think that would be superseded, but I think even just when you walk around the corner, you know, you see the stands with 150, I yeah, think. Yeah. You know, even as a local, it's just wow, you know, it's yeah. quite amazing. St Andrews is famous for its hospitality and there's an open door policy around the town. Everyone is welcome in. St Andrews offers lots of places that you can get together with friends, old and new, tell some stories about your golf and maybe listen to theirs. And the Dunvegan is certainly one of those spots. You'll be hard pushed to find a seat here during the week of the Open. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Now, a pub you've probably heard of by now is the Jigger Inn, formerly the Station Keeper's Cottage. It's located to the right-hand side of the 17th hole, the road hole of the old course, and this is a pub unlike any other. And if you've room for one more, then the latest addition to the roster is the Russex Rooftop Bar. It's important to know where the best coffee spot is in town. It's right here at Taste, and a good cup of coffee sets you up for a great day ahead. The streets of St Andrews are packed with artisan shops, bookshops, cheese shops, wine and craft shops, you name it, they have it. And then there's the university, of course, over 600 years old. 
one of Europe's leading research institutions, the third oldest university in the English-speaking world. And you'll find the campus and the students spread out all over town. But it's the history of golf and the link to old Tom Morris that is felt around St Andrews more than anything else. And there's no better place to find out more about the grand old man himself than the RNA World Golf Museum. From the cobbles to the courses, old to the new, Tom Morris's presence can still be felt everywhere you go in his hometown of St Andrews. Born in 1821, his path took him from caddy to clubmaker, custodian of Presswick, where the Open was born, to four-time winner of the same championship. Keeper of the green at St Andrews Links and designer of over 70 courses throughout the UK and Ireland. Morris's son, young Tom Morris, followed in his father's footsteps, winning four Open titles himself, but it is old Tom Morris who is considered by many to be the father of the modern game. You, you can't help but walk around the streets of St Andrews and not feel sort of the presence of old Tom Morris. You can feel his sort of shadow behind you on, on, you know, on the cobbles of St Andrews when you're, when you're walking along there, you know. And that's what I love, love about this town, you know. Uh, when I wrote Footsteps, you know, went through every street, but there was always a connection to Tom Morris, you yeah. know. It's, um, it's just, it, it is a place that gets in your bones. People come from all over the world to visit St Andrews and this summer in July, over 290,000 fans will be flocking in to watch the 150th Open Championship. It's the connection to the very roots of the game that brings people here, but it's unquestionably the spirit of the people of St Andrews that brings them back again.